All right, folks, well, I've been fishing all day long. I'm actually just wrapping it up. I'm heading out of here, but I never did an intro earlier today, so we're doing it now. But yeah, we've been fishing for cutthroat trout, big cutthroat trout, and I won't get into it too much, but we did catch some fish, and uh, yeah, had a good time. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. There's some fish just hanging out underneath that log right there. Let's see if they want an egg. Oh, he's coming over, no. Nope. Looked at it for a second. Oh, oh, one just looked at my egg and denied it. Oh, one just, one just nipped at it. There's like four or five down there. No giants, but decent fish. Oh, he's looking at it and he turned on it. He got it. He took it, he took it. There we go. There we go. They were looking at, oh, he just popped off. I kind of fought that fish like an idiot, not gonna lie. Dang it, well, at least I know I can get him to bite. There's a little pod of like half dozen fish right here. Just cruising along. Two of them looked at it and that guy went for it. I think I could probably get the other ones to bite. Oh, got him, got him. Smaller one, smaller one. Dang it. I'm trying to keep it away from these smaller ones, but you know, I guess I'll take something. I just want to catch fish, man. We're here for the biggins, but got to start somewhere. And this is actually one of the less colorful fish I saw down there. I mean, this is still a gorgeous fish. Honestly, one of the more dull ones I've seen. Wow, that is a heck of a cut. Look at that. That is beautiful. Fish number one, second one I've hooked. Not the giants we're here for, but it's a start. Look at that red belly, that is just unreal. This is why these are considered to be some of the most pretty trout, or prettiest cutthroat for sure. Later. For whatever reason, whenever I sight fish, whenever I can see the fish and I'm trying to catch them, I just don't particularly like using an indicator. I don't know why. I think it's just easier for me to like get the fly right where I want it without having to adjust my indicator. When I'm sight fishing, I like to just keep my flies down there and I guess it is a little more stealthy. Come on. One of the nicer ones is right there. Right there, but he's gonna be a little smarter. I think we can still get him though. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, he looked at it and turned on it. Dang it. What you gotta do, I've noticed when fishing eggs, you let those eggs rest in the rocks, just let them rest in the rocks. And when a fish cruises by, just twitch them so they just barely float up above the bottom and they'll just, they'll get it. They'll get it. Yo, there's some antelope on the hill right there. Check this out. There's four antelope or pronghorn. Or no, there's, there's like half a, five of them sitting on the hill. See if you guys can see on my phone. You guys see them? Dang, they usually don't come up quite this far. But I suppose they do sometimes. They're just chilling right there on the hill, right across from me. Hey guys, awesome, we got some visitors. Oh, turned on it. He got it, he got it, that's a big one. That's one of the biggest ones. That, that was the one I was going for right there. Right there, popped it up off the bottom, just like I was telling you guys. This guy probably swam by it a dozen times, but you just leave it there and wait for the right moment. Got it. This is this is uh, this is one of the nicer ones, man. I think it's a big, big male too. This is what we're here for. Can't lose this guy. We're probably not gonna have too many hookups today with nice fish, so you gotta make sure they don't pop off. Oh, it'd be great to have another. I, I need I need to hire a net man. Just follow me around with a net. Got him. Got him. Got him, there we go, big old cut. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen down there. I don't think it's quite the biggest, but dang, it's up there. Ugh, man, He's soaking me, soaking the camera. Holy, that is a heck of a fish right there. Holy cow, I'm gonna get a better view for you guys. All right, there we go. Beautiful fish, biggest one so far, second fish of the day. Gorgeous cut, amazing colors on this fish. Hopefully, oh, gotta be careful not to drop these fish. That's the last thing I wanna do is hurt these guys. Keep them in the water. One last look. That is a stunning fish right there. 
we are gonna let this guy go all right oh yeah he's ready see you later dude thank you I'll tell you having these polarized sunglasses is a game changer every time I get sunglasses I break them then I just never get a new pair and to be honest I've never liked having sunglasses on my face it's just kind of a I don't know I find them kind of annoying but I'm trying to get myself to wear them more often so I can see into the water better obviously and to protect my eyes man One came right over to check it out and they keep denying it, dude. Wow, these are smart fish. Oh, oh, missed another bite. That was like the second bite I've had right here in like 45 minutes. It wasn't a very big one, but dude, I wanna catch something. Can you guys see that tiger trout sitting out there? You might be able to. Crystal clear water. He's just sitting out there. He's got a big crooked jaw. Maybe he'll come over and eat my egg. <laughs> no, not a chance. Not a chance. Many hours later. Got him, got him. Decent one, decent one. There we go, on the chronomid, on the chronomid. Nice. Finally, dude, a decent fish. I don't think he's quite as big as the one we caught earlier, but it's still a nice one. Come on, come on. Oh, almost, almost, come on. There we go, uh, there we go, got him. On the chronomid, nice, look at that. Pinned him right there in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, not as big as the other one, but this is a solid fish. Very happy with that, especially after how slow it's been all day. Just got him right there. Wow, we'll just get this guy back quick, because we don't have a whole lot of time left to fish, and they might now just start be starting to bite. So I'm not gonna waste any time. See you later. There she goes. Oh, he smoked it. Oh, shoot. I snagged him. Bro. Oh, my gosh. I flicked it right there, and this dude turns around, smokes it, spits it, and I think I got him just right there in the belly. That sucks. But I watched him smoke it right there. Oh. Dang it, dude. That that really sucks. One billion percent he went for it. This is probably the most aggressive fish all day, but I just got him right in the belly. I don't know how I watched it disappear in his mouth. And this is like one of the night. This is probably the nicest fish. <sighs> Dang it. I really did not mean to do that. I do not like snagging fish. Got him. We'll just get him back quick. This is a solid, solid fish. Would have loved to have actually caught this guy, but nope. Where did I even snag him? Oh, it just popped off. I don't even know. Heck of a fish, but we'll get him back. Doesn't doesn't even really count. Wow, bright red. That is just, that is awesome. Sorry about that. There he goes. Looks like they're definitely feeding though. A lot of them are coming up and hitting the surface just right here close. Let's try. Let's try a little. Uh, let's try a little scud. <laughs> he wanted it. <laughs> That's funny. Smallest fish I've seen today. Pretty. Real pretty. See you later. Oh. 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 Got it. Oh no. 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 That was the biggest one down there in this little school. Black leech, weightless black leech. And I was just ripping it super fast. And when I get his attention, I'm going even faster. Wow, that was, a, that was an aggressive fish. For frick's sakes, dude. These fish are just about as stubborn as they can possibly be. A couple over there. 
might be able to get these ones. I don't think I've fished for these ones yet. Oh, got him. Yep, got him. Smoked the leech, casted clear out there, and you just pop it. And then the second they follow it, the second you have their attention, you just go as fast as you possibly can, and it just makes them want to kill it. Nice. This is a good one. Not a giant, but a good one. I'm happy with it. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's one falling behind him. Nope. He sees the net. You don't want no part of that. Got him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, dude, look at that. Smoked that black weightless leech. Weightless leech, so it's a lot more natural looking. Just slowly sinks down. Nice. Wow, that's a chunky cut. <laughs> there we go. This is what we're after. We've gotten a few of them, missed a couple of them. It has been a slow day, but we have caught fish. That is a stud, man. We'll just pop that leech out. Just pops right out. This is a barbless hook. I just realized that. Nice. Well, there you go. Quality over quantity. And this is not, I mean, out of the group, this was one of the nicer ones, but there were a couple other bigger ones. We'll see if we can get them next. Later. Well, folks, I'm calling it. Uh, I can't tell you guys how exhausted I am. I have been fishing all day long, so I am absolutely beat. Uh, these fish definitely got the best of me today. I got to give them the win. We did catch fish, though. It just doesn't seem like we did because they were spread out all throughout the day. So, I mean, not horrible. We did catch a few nice ones. Still no trophy. Still looking for that big trophy Colorado River cut. I, I tried. Wooly buggers, a white zonker minnow, leeches, chronomids, little like copper john type nymphs, uh, artificial leg, like oh, a lot of stuff. For the most part, they, they're just they're just too smart for me. I I probably just suck. But at least we didn't get skunked, so I mean. That, that's a win right there. But I am tired, I'm exhausted, and I'm gonna head out of here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we will get a catch and cook for you guys next video. But today, I just wanted to focus on the fishing. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.